is R&D engineer at, at the company and expert in CNC and its uh, applications. The first one is you. Yes. So hello, everybody. Uh, let's talk about materials a little bit. So just to remind the story of uh, Portland uh, cement, uh, known uh, for a long time, uh, very, very popular material today. Uh, and uh, uh, just to, to mention uh, that uh, the production of Portland uh, cement uh, contributing at about 10% of uh, world uh, carbon dioxide emission. So it's a very, very important sector to work uh, on uh, Eco uh, from ecological point of view. And uh, big construction companies take uh, care about that and uh, coupling Portland cement with uh, different uh, natural materials uh, trying to decrease this uh, carbon footprint for different construction. So uh, from this point of view, the research for new low cost or uh, some specific materials uh, uh, which may improve uh, well-known uh, Portland cement-based constructions. So it's a really uh, interesting topic today. Uh, so I, I would like, uh, I, I choose one uh, <coughs> development uh, we had uh, during uh, many years uh, showing uh, some aspect of uh, interesting new material to introduce in a uh, well-known and commonly used Portland cement. Uh, so for electric transport, uh, we use pillars, uh, concrete pillars. Uh, in uh, some regions with very, very severe uh, uh, climate, it's a central, uh, 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 central part in Russia, uh, in Udmurtia Republic. Uh, so uh, over the day, uh, the temperature may uh, change uh, about 20 degrees between uh, night and uh, day. Uh, so example you see here, uh, this pillar is o only uh, four years old. <laughs> so the lifetime of this construction is between three and five years. So it's a very good uh, example to try some new materials. Uh, so. We were requested a long time ago by uh, uh, Ministry of Energy Transport to try something new. Uh, so, uh, first aspect we try to follow is a uh, crack appearance uh, uh, for the frost and defrost cycles. Uh, the standard concrete formulation contains already some anti-frost, let's say, additives. Uh, improving the crack resistance and crack appearance. And uh, we can judge uh, about some uh, resistance about, uh, to, to this uh, frost defrost cycle by this crack appearance. At left, it's a standard formulation. So uh, just by micrograph, uh, took directly from pillar during uh, expectation. Uh, so we can uh, see some cracks, but this, uh, this one is the, the model. Uh, so we tried uh, different additives and uh, uh, with the support of uh, the university, they tried to uh, uh, find a very good combination between carbon nanotubes and uh, uh, nanosilica. Uh, so they could improve probably three to five times this crack resistance. So the decision was let's try uh, in a real uh, conditions. Sorry, it's uh, empty. Uh, so what happened if he introduced nanotubes? So the cracks appeared during, uh, uh, just naturally appeared. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, they are much uh, smaller. The thickness of these cracks uh, really reduced in the presence of uh, some nano additives. And uh, uh, in time, these cracks just disappear. It's like a, a self-healthing effect uh, observed uh, on many, many different samples. And uh, uh, if you see some articles, uh, so you, you may find different uh, scientific uh, works uh, explaining the mechanism, uh, how it happened. But for us, 
so the, the, the interest is to, to see if uh, we can take an advantage of this effect. Uh, because what happened in the factory, so in 22 uh, 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 eight uh, days uh, samples, uh, we measure some compression strength, some uh, uh, bending uh, properties, and we judge about the efficiency of some additives. So in our case, it's probably 10% of advantage. It's uh, not enough to, uh, uh, to, uh, to find some interest to the construction uh, people, to factories. Uh, so it just is sufficient to improve, uh, to increase uh, the, the quantity of the cement or uh, to change a little bit the formulation uh, to, to find the same data. But uh, uh, there is other interest. So uh, people try to see uh, the adhesion to armature because it's a metal concrete construction. Uh, so the effect was just drastical. So the adhesion between uh, uh, road, metal road, uh, steel road, and uh, the concrete uh, is, is very important uh, when use these uh, nano additives. Uh, so we can measure even adhesion, it's cohesive breaking if you want to apply some strength to, uh, to measure this adhesion. And uh, 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 finally, uh, what is done, we produce uh, 4,000 pillars uh, to replace uh, 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 broken pillars and people try to follow over uh, four or five years uh, what happened and uh, trying to monitor uh, crack appearance. So in four years there is uh, no breaks but it's uh, last data uh, been uh, communicated uh, three or four years ago. So I just called to people recently they said it's still the same situation no uh, broken uh, pillars at the moment. Uh, so, uh, and uh, people continue to analyze some micrographing. Uh, it's uh, the simple, uh, simplest uh, uh, monitoring uh, for, uh, uh, to, to, to detect uh, some uh, damages. Because if uh, in micrograph some cracks appear, it means <coughs> in two years this pillar will be replaced. It will not uh, be alive in uh, two or three years. Uh, so at the moment, all monitoring, they said they're just perfect, it's interesting. Uh, but uh, how to continue the project, it's another story. But it's still a very, very good example because people now work on some ultrasonic testing uh, to uh, monitor uh, some deep uh, cracking and uh, trying to implement some uh, electrical measurements uh, to see uh, the propagation of the corrosion in the armature. Uh, so, uh, for us, for Kema, uh, we are an industrial company, we have to produce some uh, raw materials. Uh, so, basing uh, on this uh, old uh, experience, uh, we developed uh, uh, two uh, products, uh, just uh, liquid additive uh, contain nanotubes we can uh, put in uh, any uh, admixture based on uh, uh, polycarboxylate ester 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 eters and uh, lignin sulfonase based. Uh, so we produce by tons and uh, so we have some business on it. Uh, it's uh, uh, existing in one ton IBC containers. And uh, the PT situation that the biggest use today uh, is uh, to improve low cost uh, PCEs for building industry, <laughs> not really for uh, high engineering constructions. And uh, uh, other product uh, we developed is uh, for the cases we don't use uh, super plasticizers and uh, we still have some market for them uh, to, uh, uh, to improve uh, the mechanical strength of different parts, uh, building blocks or bricks, etc. Uh, so it was a very interesting experience in past, but finally uh, it, it brings some, uh, some business. Uh, just uh, to finish, that uh, example I show, uh, so we have some small quantity of nanomaterial inside of the concrete. Uh, it's not detectable, it's a PPM level uh, as uh, uh, compared to cement um, uh, quantity. Uh, but uh, this uh, material uh, brings some uh, non really visible function. We cannot uh, evaluate this function in 28 uh, days of uh, uh, quality control testing. Uh, so sometimes uh, probably will be 
uh, surprise in many many years what uh, observing what happened uh, how to uh, explore to use this effect for different monitoring and you uh, dif uh, different uh, 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 testing techniques uh, so it's uh, probably a, a good work for a device uh, developers a device designers uh, so would be pleased to participate in some interesting ideas thank you very much